uh, the next uh, leaders of this very country as we prepare towards the general election in 2023, that they look forward to a government that will uh, deliver the dividends of democracy to all Nigerians. As it is today, a lot of Nigerians are going through uh, pains, they are going through uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, challenges in the country. There's no two ways about it. But I may not be able to say all that you would want to hear. I have a concerned Nigeria here with me this afternoon at the Federal Secretariat here in Abuja, and he's going to share his, um, uh, his views on uh, the nation's uh, situations and what he likely expects uh, from uh, uh, the next uh, leadership. Uh, as we prepare towards uh, the general election come 2023. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. All right. My name is uh, Ichie Alfred Nkendelem. It's all right. So, um, yeah, t tell us briefly, what is the situation? How do you feel the situation of this country right now at the moment? Could you please just share your views with Nigerians? A lot of Nigerians are watching and listening to you. The situation in Nigeria, yeah. we all knew exactly what we are going through. The situation in Nigeria is not as easy as to everybody. Okay. Not only in Abuja, in all the world that's six states in Nigeria. But in other hands, we will still thank God to compare with other countries like Ghana because I, I, I was in Ghana last month. Mm. Honestly, since just speaking, mm. as I'm telling you, Nigeria is still now a, is still a better place to be because in Ghana, the Ghana own I was in Ghana last month. Honestly, since I'm speaking, our economic is still a little bit fair to Ghanaian mm. right now. Mm. All right? But we cannot say that our country is doing well. Mm. This it's administration so has failed mm. completely. It has failed. But what we are trying to say is that by the next year general election, masses and Nigerians have decided, have decided if you can watch, you will see the top over amount of the BBC uh, 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 card restrictions yes. is about going to 93 million or, 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 or more than that. So there is a motive in people's mind. People have decided to change things to be better. I am telling you true that by the next year general election 2023, Nigeria will speak by their vote. They will vote wisely. We are not saying that Bolari administration is bad, but Bolari have done his, his best. best. He has done his best in terms of infrastructure and other things. Bowari has done his best. Because if you can look for major projects in Nigeria today, you can talk of a second Niger Bridge and other big, big projects in Nigeria. All of them are being done in Bowari administration. Now, 2023 is going to be Nigeria's general elections. Yes. Now, what are your expectations for the next government that will take over the affairs of this very country? Honestly, I cannot say that this is what I'm expecting from the next government. But all I knew is that all I'm telling Nigerians is that they are going to vote wisely. Because the past administration of Jonathan Goodluck, you cannot compare it with this administration. Though Bohari have done his best. But what I'm trying to say in my own opinion is by the next year general election, we are expecting more more good governance, more we, we are expecting good government than this one that we are into right now. Mm. We are not trying to condemn any, anybody. But all I'm trying to say is that by the next year general election, I am seeing a new Nigeria. I am seeing a new Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our next government is uh, looking forward to a new Nigeria. Just like you rightly pointed out, in some other countries, uh, uh, they are going through a lot of challenges too. It is not just Nigeria alone. Every other country has got its own problem to contend with. But we look forward to a better Nigeria, just like uh, a concerned Nigeria here has said. I'm Godwin Amundi, right here at the Federal Secretariat, situated in the city of Abuja. I'll take you back to the studio for the continuation of the news. Good afternoon. All right, thank you, Godwin. And now the news continues. The Federal High Court in Abuja has discharged and acquitted a former secretary to the government of the Federation, Baba Chidlawa, and five others from the 544 million Naira contract fraud offenses brought against them by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. 
The court on Friday held that the anti graft agency failed to establish a prima facie case against the ex-SGF and the co-defendants.